Hey, welcome back to another episode of our Hydro Series. Today I'm going to be expanding to my already existing hydro system. I have an X2 controller controlling my aquarium right here, and I need a few more ports. So I'm going to be adding another controller, an X3 controller. Now, why do you add another controller to an existing controller? For exactly what I said, I'm out of ports. And this one has a probe port, which my other controller does not. So I'm going to be adding a pH probe today with this controller, and I'm also going to be adding a leak detector rope in the sense port on this controller. Now I gotta make this controller talk to the other controller and build in some redundancy by being able to use both all in the same app. It's what Hydros calls a collective. That's what we're gonna do today. Hey, let's get into it. Now in order to hook up my X3 to my X2, there's a couple more things I needed to pick up. And the first is a cable that will run between the two. Now there's a couple of cables out there. There's a, a data cable and a data slash power, which is what I have here. This one also carries power from my X2 to power my new X3. So make sure you have the right cable and then it just plugs into the command bus from the X2 into the X3. And then you need one more thing. Now this is important. Uh, I've read it in the directions. It's the terminator plug. So that will go in the other port uh, command bus and that's the crucial part in order to make these things communicate together. So make sure that you pick up a terminator as well if you're making a collective. Now speaking of the directions, let's take another quick look at those and then get started hooking these two up together. So I'm gonna jump on the CoralViewHydros.com website and look up the directions. So from the menu across the top, I'm gonna to select Setup, and I'm gonna choose Hydros Control on the next page. And then on the following page with the Hydros Control, here's every Hydros device and directions for everything that you could possibly need. I'm gonna scroll down to Multiple Controls, Collective, since that's what I'm doing today is adding multiple controllers and I'm gonna choose the second one, creating a new collective. Now I've already read through all of these uh, a couple of times. It's pretty straightforward. I know some of us don't like really reading directions, but with this kind of thing, I would suggest just following along step by step. You can see the very first note is a tip. Now when creating a new collective, the first device is your master device, and all settings and configurations will transfer to your collective. So I've already got my X2 set up. That will be my master device, and I'm going to go ahead and create a collective off that. So now inside my app, following these directions, I'm gonna open up my app, and from my status screen, I'm gonna click on the little plus sign in step two here, and then I'm going to create a new collective. So then it asks me, uh, are you sure you wanna create a collective? If, and I'm gonna say, yes, of course. And then do you understand? Click on I understand. It brings up the next menu, create a new collective. Read everything here, make sure you're following all the instructions and you hit continue. Then it'll bring you up to the next screen where you create your collective and you can give it a name. I'm just gonna call it collective. So I'll type that in. And then hit the button, create new collective. You'll get the swimming fish and it'll create your collective. So your collective has been created, hit continue, and then upload your changes. Then you wanna to go to your status screen and see that you have your collective. So there it is. I've got a collective now, I've got Jimmy's X2. And now it's time to add devices to our collective. So now I've powered down my X2, that's my new collective. I've added my data power cable over to my X3. I've added my terminator, and now I plug the power back in and we'll set up the X3. Okay, now that we've powered back up and we've 
got the two devices physically connected to each other, we'll go back inside the app and we'll go to our status screen. And on the upper left hand corner, we'll hit those three little lines that bring up our drop down and we'll select devices. And from the device screen, we'll go to the lower right hand corner and press the plus sign. Now here's where we're going to add our collective device number two that we've just added. And where it says Hydros device, we'll hit the little drop down there and we'll select our new device, the X3. We'll leave the Wi-Fi priority as normal, and then we'll upload our changes. Once we've uploaded our changes, we can go ahead back to our status screen, look at our collective. You see, uh, there's my X2, Jimmy's tank, and now there's my X3. Awesome, right? So now I have two devices that work together. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at my X3. I'm gonna go into devices, take a look at the X3 here, and now you see I've got three empty ports. One is a probe port and two are sense ports. Now I've got a temperature sensor that I used originally on my X2, but then I took it out to hook up a sensor for my skimmer. And I'm gonna hook that back up now that I have a new sense port. Uh, I'm not gonna go over that here since I've already done that, but these are just as like any device that you'd add. But what's new here today for me that I'll go over is this one on the bottom is a probe port. So I'm gonna set up a probe. I'm gonna hit the plus sign next to the probe port. I'm gonna create that. I'm gonna call it PH and create. And it's in what type? It's in a probe port. It's in X3 probe port number one. And what mode is it? It's a pH probe right there. And then here's the ranges you can set up. I don't know a whole lot about this. I think you wanna be in this default range. I'm gonna leave it there for now and talk to my friend, Mr. Saltwater Tank and ask him where I should set up these parameters. But I'm gonna go ahead and upload my changes. So once you've uploaded your changes, you'll have your pH probe plugged into your uh, probe port. Now these things have a break-in period and they also need to be calibrated. So you're gonna calibrate it right inside the app using your uh, known solutions for pH values. And it's really straightforward. I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel because if you're following the directions on the CoralView website, you're gonna find they have a really great video out there on YouTube that's linked to it to see exactly how to use these solutions, use the app, to calibrate this. And then lastly, I'm gonna hook up this guy here. This is a leak detector rope, and I've got uh, the other end of this plugged into the sense port on my new X2, and it plugs in right here, runs out the back of my sump area. It comes with these nifty little two-sided tape tie downs, so wherever you wanna put this and have it detect where you might get a leak, I'm gonna put this on the floor around my tank, um, just underneath the cabinet. If water comes out, it'll get on this. It will detect that there's water on the floor and the app will alert me, setting this one to red. Well, that's all I have for you on this week's episode of our Hydros series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're learning something. Be sure and leave any questions or comments in the comments section below. And be sure and like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.